Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going through Cambridge IGCSE uh, Mathematics Paper 1 core from May June 2024 series Paper 1 1. Right? Uh, so, let us start number 1 we have here write 0 0.8 as a fraction. So, 0 0.8 uh, can be written as we have 8 over 10. So, you can either write 8 over 10 and you can just simplify this. Uh, so, divide both uh, numerator and denominator by 2. So, it will be 4 over 5. So, final answer is going to be 4 over 5. Right. Write 28 percent as a decimal. 28 percent means 28 over 100. So, this is going to be 0 0.28. So, final answer is 0 0.28. Right. Write 4, 8, 7, 6 correct to nearest 100. So, we have 4876 hundreds, 1s, 10s, hundreds. So, this is the place we are looking for this number. Uh, this is greater than 5, so it will be rounded up. Uh, so, uh, sorry, 1s, 10s, hundreds. We have to take the, let me rewrite. So, 4876, 1s, 10s, hundreds. So, we will look at the right digit. This digit is a, uh, 7 which is greater than uh, 5. So, it is will be rounded up. So, we are going to add 1 over here. So, that will become uh, 4900, right. Now, number 2, uh, measure the length of line A B uh, in millimeters. So, just uh, uh, put your uh, ruler and measure from A to B. I have measured this one. So, this comes out to be 107 millimeters that is 10.7. Then number 3, uh, the travel graph shows the journey of a bus. This is distance along y axis and we have time this side. So, let us see what is the question. Find the dis, uh, distance the bus travels in first 50 minutes. First 50 minutes starting from here. Let us see. So, this is 14, this is 14.30. So, this one section represents 10, right. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 is here, right. So, 50 minutes from here to here, how much distance is if the covered. So, we will go, go along this line. So, you will see it is. 10 right. So, answer is 10 kilometers. Now, part B find how long in minutes the bus is stationary. How long in the uh, so it is stationary at this point right. So, how long this is 10 minutes 20, 30 and 40. So, it will be 40 minutes. Simple question. Uh, now, number 4, write down the order of rotational symmetry of the rhombus. Rhombus is a shape like this having all the sides equal. So, line of symmetry is going to have uh, a rotational symmetry sorry ro when you rotate until 360. So, you are going to get the same shape by 2 times. So, rotational symmetry is of order 2. Uh, find the area of the shape. So, we will just count the number of squares which are uh, more than uh, half right and full 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We are not going to count this one because this is less than half then this is 11 and 12. Also we are leaving this one and this one. So, answer is 12 centimeter squares right. Number 6 work out 26 uh, 28 minus 16 divided by 2. So, we are going to use board mass here. So, for that we are uh, there is no bracket here. Uh, we are going to then do division. Division is here. So, then 28 minus this is 8. So, answer is 20. Find the reciprocal. Reciprocal is like you just swap the numerator and the denominator. So, this is going to be 5 over 4. Number 7, the temperature on Monday is negative 27 degree Celsius. The temperature on Tuesday, this is Monday, this is Tuesday is 15 degree higher than on Monday. Work out the temperature on Tuesday. So, temperature on Tuesday, Monday was 27 degree Celsius and this is higher means this is increased by 15. So, just subtract it, this is 2. 1 negative 27 is greater than 15. So, 12 degrees Celsius right. 
so i hope you guys are getting everything kindly subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends if you are getting any benefit of these videos kindly support guys so it motivates uh, to make more videos that are useful for you guys now uh, number 8 draw the lines of symmetry line of symmetry one is going to be here the reflection line you see upper part and lower part is same so they will overlap each other another one is here so this is from left to right now number 9 we have a diagram here uh, the diagram shows two sides of parallelogram a b c d find the coordinates of point d we don't know where is point d uh, so the easy way here if you see from a to b a to b like here so this uh, d point is going to be somewhere here in this region right so let us see how much like if you see the, from b to c uh, it is 1 2 3 4 units right so i will take from here 1 2 3 4 units right and then uh, we will see how many units up from b to a you see here is a so then uh, we are going to take uh, count from here a to c 1 2 3 4 5 6 ok 6 units from here so that means from a to c it should be 6 unit or i have uh, calculated from here that is also the same thing and 2 units up from here 1 2 so do not take this one just take this side 4 and 2 2 units up is 1 2 so d point is going to be this here so, D is a, a negative, uh, you see this point is here, if you go down, negative 3 and 7. So, negative 3 and 7, right. Uh, number 10, we have a cuboid here. Uh, calculate the surface area of the, uh, no sorry, uh, you are given a total surface area of the cuboid is this, work out the value of H. We have length, this is length this is width and this one is height. Uh, so, we know that the formula of surface area is 2 into length times width plus 2 into width times height plus 2 into height times length right. So, 2 we just substitute the values length is 15 times 6 plus 2 then we have uh, width times height that is 6 times 6 h then 2 into h l uh, height and length is 15 this is going to be 15 h right. So, now this is 15 times 6 90 90 times 2 it is 180 uh, plus this is 12 h plus 30 h and this is going to be 180 plus 42 h and this is given to us as 369. So, from here 42 h is equal to 369 minus 180. Uh, so, 42 h is equal to 189. So, h is going to be 189 divided by 42 bringing 42 on other side. So, this comes out to be 4.5. So, this is 4.5 right. Now, number 11, uh, Gita has a box of toys and this is bit tricky. So, just be careful guys. Gita has a box of toys. She picks a toy at random from the box. The probability that she picks wooden toy is 0 0.6. Work out the po um, uh, probability that she does not pick a wooden toy. Does not pick means, so we are going to take 1 minus 0 0.6 which is 0 0.4, right. Now, the box contains three type of toys wooden, plastic or metal. We are given here the number of toys is here probability complete the table. Now, as you know that if you see here plastic and metal they have the same number of toys. So, that means their probability should be same. So, this total probability is 0 0.4 of not picking the wooden toy. Not picking the wooden toy means uh, either plastic or metal. So, if this is 0 0.4 and this is same, so it should be divided equally 0 0.2 and 0 0.2, right. So, now we are looking for the total number of toys here for wooden. 
so we can take any probability let's say i'm taking probability of metal probability of metal is 0.2 how are you going to calculate the probability of metal is 14 out of total let's say total is x i'm oh, sorry 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 we don't have total here let's say the total is x meaning this one is x 14 plus 14 plus uh, wooden let's say i'm writing w this is equal to x so metal over the total is equal to 0 0.2 right so from here we will have x is going to be uh, 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.2 no we are going to cross multiply so this is 1 over here so 0 0.2 x will be equals to 14 so x will be 14 over 0 0.2 so which is 140 over 2 that is 70 so total is 70 here this one so then we can put here uh, this is 28 plus wooden is this and this is 70 so w is going to be 70 minus 28 which is 42 so here we will have number of wooden toys is 42 right now number 12 uh, the table shows some information about two sequences uh, 60 minus sequence a and sequence b complete the table the fifth term we are looking so n is 5 so 60 minus 4 times 5 60 minus 20 uh, that is 40 simple uh, so then here now n is 5 5 squared minus 300 5 square is 25 minus 300 which is negative 275 number 13 find the coordinates of the point where line y equals to uh, 3x minus 5 crosses at y axis when line crosses at y axis that means x is 0 right so when x is 0 y is going to be 3 into 0 minus 5 so y is negative 5 so 0 and negative 5 number 14 um, by writing each number in calculation correct to one significant figure estimate the value of this so uh, to estimate this to one significant figure this is going to be 30 minus 6 over 4 minus 2 so this is 24 over i'm uh, sorry this is times not minus So, this is times 4 times 2 it is 8. So, answer is 3. Now, factorize 36 squared minus 40 x. So, as you can see these both are multiples of 4. So, we can take 4 x is in both. So, 4 times 9 is 36 and plus here it will be 10. So, this is 4 x into 9 x uh, plus 10. So, that is it for this video. Remaining question we will do in the next one. I hope you guys understood everything. Let me know in the comment section if you have any question. Thank you so much guys. Kindly subscribe and share it with your friends and if you like the video please press the like button. See you guys. Be blessed.